welcome to academy 2 dear viewers in this video we are going to learn about osi model in computer networking why this model is required in computer networking so this model gives the behavior of the network totally how your network behaves from source to destination so in this osi model we have totally seven layers then how to remember that layers is it you are going to memorize it no you have to understand the concepts so then it will be easy to write the answers in the exams so first i want to transfer the data from the source assume that this is the source this is a end device so i'll take this as a smartphone so and the destination is this is the destination and this is also a smartphone end device So assume that both are there in the different networks. So this is in network one, and this is in network two. So now I want to transfer the data. So from this source to destination. Okay. So before transforming the data from source to destination, so I need some platform to transfer the data okay so in your trans in your smartphone so many applications are available to transfer the to send the data for example whatsapp okay so i can send through facebook also and also i can send through normal sms and also i can do email so many applications are available so your communication starts here by choosing the proper application so the first layer is application layer so here you are going to choose which from which application you want to send the data actual communication starts from your application layer and all applications are identified through the port numbers port numbers so the size of port number will be 16 bits so the range will be so 0 to 2 raised to 16 minus 1 so just you can google it different port numbers are available for uh, different applications okay so in this application layer uh, you are going to choose from which application you are going to transfer the data okay so that's why the first layer okay so in some books they will tell us the seventh layer okay uh, because i'll call it as the first layer because the communication starts from the application layer so this layer deal with networking applications like email web browsers and the packet data unit okay so that is pdu protocol data unit so that is called as the user data user data <clears throat> so once you choose on the application so next matters how we are going to present the data inside the network so how we are going to present the data inside the network so that comes in the next layer so that is the uh, presentation layer so next layer is presentation layer so this layer deals with networking 
uh, is presenting the data in required format which may include the code formatting encryption compression and all okay so here this protocol data unit is called as the formatted data formatted data so in this layer you are going to decide that how you are going to present the data inside the network whether you want to compress it so whether you want to do the encryption or you want to do the coding formatting so that you are going to do it in presentation layer so when you install your whatsapp first time when you are sending message to your friend so whatsapp whatsapp will post a message you might have observed that so your message is end to end encryption so your message is protected using 256 bit key so whatsapp cannot see your messages like that so this happens in the presentation layer so here protocol data unit is nothing but the is called as the formatted data so this is the second layer in the OSA model. So next is uh, while using any application, if you want to using any applications, authentication is very, very important. Okay. So without authentication, you can't use any application available in Google Play Store. So you have to authenticate yourself through your mobile number or email. So that should be authenticated and also sessions also should be monitored when you are going to log in, log out, that session should be monitored. Somebody should be there to monitor the sessions. So that will be decided by the uh, session layer. So this manages the session between the two host machines and here it organized their communication by offering three methods of three modes of uh, the communication that is called as simplex half duplex and full duplex communication so simplex so what is the meaning of uh, simplex communication so there are three modes of communications you have to see okay see one is simplex simplex communication so this is the sender and this will be the receiver sender is going to send the data so receiver is going to receive the data that's it so there will be no response from the uh, receiver simplex communication okay next is half duplex half duplex so half duplex means assume that again this is a source and this is the destination so first source is going to send the data okay after that receiver is going to replay the data the best example for half duplex communication you guys were walkie talkie so from one side you are going to send the data then you are going to lock it from the other side then you are going to receive the data then it continues the uh, communication so third one is full duplex full duplex means it's like a parallel communication source and the destination is like a parallel communication source will also send the data at a time at a time so receiver is also will send the data so your voice call is the best example for full duplex communication so these type of three modes of communication will be provided by the session layer so here also protocol data unit is nothing but your formatted data so next the layer once we decide the application and once you decided how we are going to present the data inside the network and the second uh, that is next you are going to decide how you are going to authenticate it and which type of uh, modes you are going to give for the host so uh, once you decide that next you are going to decide what type of connection you are going to establish between the source and the destination okay so source and the destination what type of connection you are going to establish whether you want dedicated connection between source and destination or you don't want the dedicated connection whether you want to establish connectionless 
okay so this next layer is going to provide two types of services okay that is connection oriented service and connection less service okay so this is so this layer is nothing but your transport layer transport layer so here what are the services provided by this transport layer so basically it breaks the larger data into smaller data so that is called as the segmentation and also it will do sequencing acknowledgement and the retransmission and the flow control so these are the services provided by the that is transport layer okay so major application of the transport layer so retains in providing the guaranteed service and the unguaranteed service so if you choose tcp protocol so you are going to get a guaranteed service so if it is if it is a udp so there will be no guarantee okay so in this transport layer so you are going to decide what type of connection is going to establish between source and destination okay so that is nothing but your transport layer so once you decided how connection is going to establish next point is so you have to find out the best path between the source and destination and also one logical address i needed to reach that path so this layer is called as the network layer so here major services are routing packet filtering so here the one more address will be there that is logical address internet protocol and ipx routed protocol and the routed protocol so that is ip internet protocol is the logical address which will going to help you to transfer the data between source and uh, destination by providing the best path so here the protocol data unit is called as the packets packets <coughs> so once you reach the network uh, using this routing algorithms or the routing protocols whether it may be static routing or the dynamic routing once you reach that network so then when you reach the network when you are inside the network so then the uh, next layer is going to identify the destination through the mac address so through the mac address so that layer is called as the data link layer data link layer so it will do mac addressing and also here the pdu is called as frames so it will do the error detection not the correction and also it will do logical link control so here the protocol data unit is called as the frame so once you your data reach the network so then to which network uh, the to which host the data to be transferred so that will be decided by the uh, frames so next the last layer is the physical connectivity so that will be done at the physical layer so here you are going to transfer the data in terms of bits so here you want to uh, do the encoding of the bits that is also possible okay so here you are going to decide the which uh, transmission media you are going to use to transfer the data between source and destination so to complete a simple communication between source and destination so we need to traverse these seven layers application layer presentation layer session layer the transport layer the network layer data link layer and the physical layer in application layer protocol data unit is called as the user data where you are going to choose the application the address you are going to deal with that is port number the size is 16 bit and the next presentation layer and the session layer the protocol data unit is called as the formatted data in transport layer that is called as the segments so your pdu is nothing but your segments segments 
So on the network layer, the protocol data unit is nothing but the IP that is packets. Here we are going to do the routing, packet filtering, other services. So data link layer, MAC addressing, packet data, protocol data unit is nothing but frames and the physical layer is bits and the encoding. Okay. So this is about the OSI model. So when it is asked in the examination for 10 marks, first you have to write down this block diagram. It's very, very important. Okay. So diag first you write down the diagram, this block diagram, which contains all the layers. Okay. So yeah, this three up three layers. So it is called as the upper layers. Next, the other layers is called as the data layers. Other layers will be called as the data layers. So this is about the OSI model. Any doubts you please ping it on the comment section. Thank you.